a chair chair interconversion. I'm gonna do it from scratch. I have my two chairs, they're actually flipped from one to the other. So what's axial on this one is gonna be equatorial on this one, and vice versa, what's equatorial here is gonna be axial on this one. So I'm gonna do the whole process. And the first thing that I want you to notice is that we want the cis 1,4 dimethyl cyclohexane. I have to put two methyls on this cyclohexane chair, but I have to make really sure that I actually put them cis to each other. The trans is going to give you a completely different answer. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my chair and I'm going to mark my axial and equatorial positions on carbon 1 and 4. Let's say this is carbon 1. This one would be 4. I do them in pencil because I'm going to actually just erase them pretty soon. Make sure that you do have carbons 1 and 4. Alright, let's start right here. I need to put them cis. So right now I'm not going to be obsessing about axial and equatorial. All I want to do is make sure that I put my, my two methyl cis to each other. I'm going to go to carbon number 1. I'm going to pick one of the two positions. It doesn't matter which one it is. I'm going to pick the up position. I'm going to put my methyl there. If this methyl is up, I have to put the second methyl on the up position on carbon number four. So make sure you come and pick the up position because you have to put them cis to each other. All right, how would you actually flip or interconvert a chair? Well, I have to, I, I like to process this, make, always do the same thing because this one is axial and it's pointing up. When you flip the chair, axial goes to equatorial, but if it's pointing up, it's still going to be pointing up in the other chair. So axial up is going to go equatorial up. So whenever I go to my other, my second chair, I, I'm going to obviously have an equatorial up position right there. If I don't have an equatorial up, I'm in trouble. I am actually probably in the wrong carbon. There has to be an equatorial up. So this methyl right here, when we pull this carbon all the way to the bottom, it, went, it still remained up, but it came to an equatorial position. The second methyl, it's equatorial up. So equatorial up is going to go to axial up. So we push this carbon all the way up. So it's this one right here. And I'm going to pick the axial up position. So there's going to be an up position, but I know it has to be axial. If it's not axial, we're doing something wrong. All right, those are our two chairs. If you want to, now you can erase the pencil marks. But I have to, of course, go and check which one is going to be the most stable one. Since I have the exact same substituent, all I have to do is just count how many axials and how many equatorial. I have one axial and one equatorial. And this one, I have one axial and one equatorial as well. So in terms of this cis 1,4 dimethyl cyclohexane, both chairs are going to have the same energy. All right, that's it. That's how we do it.